So I've been asked a few times now if you can ollie with skid plates on and this was actually something I wanted to talk about anyways so today instead of just telling you yes you can because yes you can ollie with skid plates on I'm gonna show you Okay, so I originally wanted to film the second half of this video at the skate park, but that has been interrupted by about a dozen or so five-year-olds. So I guess we're just gonna have to finish here. Today I really wanted to talk about skid plates because so many people have asked me if you can ollie in a skid plate and if the previous footage was any proof, yes, yes you can ollie with skid plates on and you can do kickflips and frontside 180s and backside 180s and pop shove -its. and truly I haven't really noticed any issues with doing my regular flat ground tricks on my freestyle skateboard which has skid plates on it. If anything sometimes the plastic skid plate actually does feel a little bit poppier than the regular wooden tail. I guess just because it's plastic and plastic tends to be pretty bouncy in general. 
But before we continue, let's talk about what skid plates actually are. Skid plates are these little plastic pieces that you can put on the nose and tail of your skateboard and they're really great for extending the life of your skateboard. So when you skateboard, as you skateboard more and more, you get this thing called razor tail, and you can't see it very well on this deck because I just don't really have it. But razor tail is when you start to wear down the deck more and more as you slide the tail on the ground. Basically, this part gets thinner until it becomes a sharp point in some cases, which is why it's called razor tail. And this can make the tail or nose more likely to chip or break, and it can also affect your pop in negative ways. So overall, razor tail is a bad thing, and freestylers especially love to scrape their nose and tail on the ground, which is why a lot of us use skid plates. The plastic skid plate gets worn down instead of the wood of your deck, which makes the deck last longer. It also helps to reinforce the tail and nose when you're doing truck tricks, and is also a lot cheaper to replace a skid plate than it is to replace a whole deck. But since skid plates are not used by the general skating population, it's not surprising that a lot of people are curious if you can ollie with them on and how they affect your skateboard. Now, we've seen that you can indeed ollie with the skid plates, but they actually do affect your skateboard, and to an extent, your performance. So skid plates can affect what's called pop angle, and pop angle, simply put, is basically the angle that your deck makes with the ground when you pop your tail off the ground. And there are advantages to having a higher pop angle and to having a lower pop angle, but it does get pretty complicated, especially if you're a beginner, which is why I've decided not to go too deep into it in this video. And if you're curious, I do highly recommend that you look up what pop angle is, what it affects, how you can affect it, because it is really cool. And honestly, I'm sure I'll talk about it later on this channel, as I really love the science of decks. I think the science of your skate setup is really cool, but I don't want to talk about it in today's video. And so you might be wondering, Sarah, why did you bring up pop angle at all if you're not going to talk about it? And that's because I want to talk about it for any non-beginners who might be watching this video and have experienced a situation similar to one that I had. So I had a setup that was very low to the ground. It had pretty short thunder trucks and small 52 millimeter wheels, which are small for me. And then I had a brand new skid plate on it. Now what this did was that it kept my deck really low to the ground and probably by like a quarter of an inch decreased the height that my tail was to the ground. So for one, that kind of decreases the area in which you can apply force to the skateboard. So that alone will decrease your pop a little bit, but then also it lowered the angle that my board was hitting the ground, which also decreased the pop just a little bit. So basically those two things combined made it a little more difficult for me to pop my tricks. Now you can easily fix this. You could put bigger wheels, taller trucks, get a little riser pad and put it between the deck and the trucks. And that can offset both that pop angle and the height that your tail is off of the ground. So, I mean, the reason I don't want to get too deep into it is because it does get complicated very quickly because absolutely every part of your setup, except for maybe the bolts, will affect your pop angle. So I will dive deep into it one day, but not today. Just be aware that while you can ollie with skid plates, it is going to slightly affect different aspects of your board. If you have a tall board, a skid plate might actually make it a little more comfortable to pop your tail with, especially for a beginner, because it will shorten that distance. But if you're an experienced skater and you want to try skid plates, just be aware that it's going to change the pop angle just a little bit. And there are ways to increase that pop angle back up if you want to. So it's not a deal breaker in my opinion, just something to be aware of. Whew, I put this on because I was cold, but now I'm hot again. <laughs> so the final verdict of this video is that you can definitely pop all of your regular flat ground tricks with skid plates installed on the nose or the tail, but it does actually change the science and the physics of your skateboard just a little bit, which is not a bad thing. It just depends on how you like to skate. 
So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it and I hope to see you next time. And I dread editing this video because it was a mess, but it happens. So I will see you again if you stick around. Okay, so today's video definitely did not go as planned whatsoever. <sighs> I had originally planned to film this entire thing at the little skate park that I was at because on a normal day, around 11 o'clock, um, there's not really anyone there. Maybe one child with a parent, like a toddler, or one other person. But today, oh today, there was a whole, maybe preschool or elementary school, I don't know. I guess since it's Friday when I'm filming this, that I guess that school takes them there for a little recess or something. Because there was a ton of children, all around five years old, and they were all let loose to run around the skate park. One of the children who was actually there with their father, and the father was trying to, you know, rein him in so that he didn't bother me, which which I appreciated. The kid was cute. He talked to me. What's your name? My name's Sarah. What's your name? You're turning six? You know what? I could play with my dad. But, um, yeah, some of the footage that I filmed today as well is going to be gone. Because, well, let me show you. My little friend who's turning six next month, turned my camera off. The little guy touched my camera and turned it off. So I actually missed quite a few tricks. I don't know how many I missed. I did try to do a couple more tricks. Um, but you know, when you're filming in public, it is what it is. And I was too embarrassed because I'm still not good at the whole filming yourself in public thing to actually pick up my camera and be able to talk to it like this. So I'm back and ready to talk about today's topic, which was can you ollie with skid plates? Normally I script my videos or I do like a good outline and today I just kind of wanted to make an informal, do a little skating, do a little talking, but now I'm really thrown out of whack with how it didn't go as I planned and I'm I have no idea how this is going to turn out I hope it's good though I'll do my best in post to put something together I suppose but yeah how should I do this I'll pretend that none of that ever happened okay garbage truck kickflip I mean there's nothing Someone is enjoying their cat scratcher. This is what she's doing. Kitten, is this really necessary? Kitten, sarang, saranga, saranga. Hey, hey you. Seriously, look at that. <laughs> Literally everything wants to stop me from making a video. <sighs> I guess I'll just try again later.